All right, let's talk about the U.S. budget, which is still not signed by President Biden, even though there was a mad dash to make sure that the government was kept open and in business. Um, well, now we're learning a lot more as to what is in this massive $1.5 trillion budget. I'll tell you what's not in this budget. Let me just, and you can tell me what's in it. What's not in this budget is an expanded child tax credit, right? We knew that those ended. So sending uh, many, many families into poverty who were there on the threshold anyway. And then, of course, the the the, the uh, expiration of the child tax credit. There's no additional stimulus funds. There's nothing in there to help uh, for health care. There's no additional items. No, in there it's for not a social childhood. package, nothing. although it's being treated as one. So there's, there's one thing if we were calling it a social package, like build back better, right? Mm -hmm, right. Um, okay, that's the president's wish list of things to make America better. And we for sure debated the merits of that, but at least that was out there as like, this is to make, Amer this is just to keep the government from shutting down. Yet it is being called an omnibus package because it has all kinds of kitchen sink in it. Um, it is strange. Also, I think the, the biggest punch home for me is that the House had to pull out $15.6 billion in supplemental funds for COVID relief and instead they replaced it with $13.6 billion in aid for Ukraine, proving that, okay, pandemic's over, right? We don't need this money, forget it. Um, Ukraine though, we need it, let's put it in there. Okay, but let me remind you that this is, a, a, it's not a stimulus package. It is only to make sure the government will not shut down because the government has too much debt and we'll hit a ceiling where the law will not allow us to borrow more money. And so we only, so why do we add things in here that are not just part of the budget, right? So if you think about it in terms of like, I know people, they come at me when I try and use like household finance as a comparison to the government, but this is what it's like is let's say you've hit your credit limit on your credit cards and you also have hit your credit limit to buy a car or a house or whatever, you have no more consumer credit allowable, right? And so then you go and somehow ask for an increase in your credit limit, but then you add on the fact that you need a diamond and you need a fur coat and you need a new scooter and you need a Ferrari, right? So the government is adding things that we don't already buy into this increased in debt limit. Where is the sense in that? Um, this morning, I found this great app um, and site, and I made a little movie of it. Do you see it? The U.S. debt. Yes. So this is a live look. And actually, you can get at usdebtclock.org. And I know these numbers are crazy and, and hard to see. You can also pay $1.99 for the app, which you better believe I did, because I want to keep an eye on this. But look at the U.S. national debt in the top left. It just keeps going up, right? So does it seem crazy to you that we would add things that are not a part of just keeping the government rolling, but just extra things? into a bill that's only to keep the government funded where where what am i missing clayton before i start screaming when i, on my when I first voice. saw this website usdebtclock.org that was at 11 trillion oh yeah. my god when i first saw it it was well when i first knew of this number the website didn't even exist at the time it was at seven i remember learning about the u.s debt and it, it was like in high school and it was like it was around six at the time or something and then it was like seven then yeah then you're talking about 11 and now it's at that ridiculous number of 30 so it's untenable it's not able there's no way you pay this back by the way can what you, you have is a government collapse that's how you pay this back you have to wipe away your debt that's how you pay it back yes can you um zoom in on the bottom left it says money created bottom left oh, right God. there um because it shows bot all the way to the left and it's gray Yes, money creation, right? So this is what the U.S. Treasury is giving itself um, in order to continue to basically exist, right? So you're not allowed to do that, but the United States government is. Now, I made this just a few hours ago, this movie, and I was just screenshotting the current rates, but it continues to tick up. Um, debt continues to tick up. Um, it's, it's just really interesting when you think of it that way. Oh, and then, it stopped. Oh no, I hit pause. Yeah. <laughs> and then you think about yeah, why can't, what the, the actually was, do that. 
Yeah, I can. No, no, it's going to keep going. Um, that is a great way to give yourself anxiety. So um, well, watch I mean, that. But but think about what then we put into the package just to keep the government running when we're already in all of that red. But we put extra stuff. Like what? Okay. So let me go through a few things. All right, you go through. Because they're just, I'm just going to use as an example, because this is just anecdotal, but it's, you could take it from whatever state you want. It doesn't matter. I'm going to take you to the state of Virginia now. So the state of Virginia has a whole bunch of earmarks that just got shoved into this thing. Okay. And by the way, like, you know, okay, you could pick your, pick your poison. It doesn't have to be Democrat. It could be Republican. It doesn't really matter. But earmarks return in this flow to Virginia. So let's just go through a few things here. Like this bridge is going to be fixed. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I am sorry. Why is a bridge going to be fixed when didn't we just have a massive infrastructure bill that was supposed to fix bridges? I don't know. Yes. So no, I guess. But hey, this bridge will get fixed in this budget. Okay. Okay. Um, On and on the list goes, but... 5.8 5.8 will go for planning of a new Army Aviation Support Facility in the Virginia National Guard in Sandston. So, again, six, almost $6 million that will go to, for all intents and purposes, a defense item. But didn't we just pass? Didn't President Biden just call for an additional $800 billion for national defense? But we can shove in all sorts of additional defense spending. That's the beauty of this, that they won't tell you. Is that this money, this these additional defense items in the backyards of senators and congressmen get shoved into these budget bills that are just meant to keep the government running? There should be no new spending if it's just about keeping the government running. Then it would make sense that you don't add more things onto it, right? So there's still 1.9 billion uh, for the Trump border wall. That's going to keep going. Um, Democrats put a 6.7 increase into non-defense discretionary spending. And Republicans said, well, we need to match it with defense then. So they continued to put more defense money into this, even though the defense budget was already approved with, um, you know, record highs. But sure, let's put a little bit more defense in here. It is not just pay the civil servants who work for the government and let's just keep it going until we can balance our budget. No, it's let's get more debt and get more things, which is just crazy to me. It's so crazy. Yeah. And don't forget, of course, it's going to also send $14 billion to Ukraine. So $14 billion, how will that money be spent? I'm sure that there's an oversight board. I'm sure there's a group of accountants that are making sure that that money that we're just funneling over to Ukraine gets spent accordingly and and every penny is accounted for. Do you remember when in Iraq we lost under George W. Bush, there was like, what is it? Wasn't it like $11 billion they just couldn't find? It just disappeared? Mm. Like that's how our government operates. Can you imagine a business? Sorry. I, you know, I had that $11 billion. I know I put it downstairs. I know it was in the kitchen when I last checked. I don't know where it is. It gives me pause, too, that there was no real fight over COVID money. Like, it just, Democrats wanted some, The ha- you know, GOP didn't really want it. There was not really a big fight. There was no grandstanding about COVID how. money. Or you well, there was the COVID. For, it was for, taken there out. was for money to the people. Yeah. Um, n- no, the House had to scrap 15.6 billion in supplemental cor- coronavirus relief, um, and that kind of went without a hitch. Like they wanted more, but it's not the conversation du jour. So it's like, well, all yeah, right. Yeah, it, that was it, sort that of the been headlines. Point. A few weeks ago, it was the sticking point, and then it was like, ah, eh, okay, uh, this is not the hill I want to die on. Basically, yes. uh, you know what? I'd rather just send that 14 billion to Ukraine. Th- those people, because there's nobody sleeping on the streets in the United States. There's no education system crumbling in the United States. We right. can't help the other, what was it, 50% of kids that are hungry. Yeah. Would it, wouldn't it be interesting if we had like a system of a, a one-to-one dollar ratio of whatever the military budget was, an equal amount must be spent on uh, American infrastructure and and stimulus? No. Well, now you're in your <laughs> friend. Yeah, I know, well, I know. But now we're just, demonetized. Thanks, Philip. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll keep No, because you know what? Here's the beauty of that. And the military would love that because they would say, you know what? 
We at Boeing are not only protecting our skies from foreign invaders, we've decided we're opening our own new domestic division, which is going to protect us here at home. And thanks to our new military budget that splits at 50-50, we're now getting both our foreign money and our at-home money. We'll build your bridges for you. Like, this is how this operates, right? So it would, it would happen. And it could be easily done. It just would be a boondoggle for these companies once again here at home. Well, the bill now heads to the president's desk. He has not signed it yet. But do not mistake this for a permanent fix where the United States will then start to pay off its debt and go below this debt ceiling. They won't. Uh, this bill is only good through September. We will put this conversation. In fact, we'll just clip it and repeat and put it in September so that we don't have to because the same stuff will happen in September. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, we have a membership program for the price of a cup of coffee once a month. You can support independent journalism just by going to morninginvest.com slash join. You get access to exclusive videos, plus the ability to join and chat with us live. We really appreciate your subscription and you are supporting independent journalism.